As you all know, tensions have been running high for some time now between Prince Harry, Meghan, and the rest of the royal family, and it seems things may have finally come to a boiling point. According to some palace and insider sources, Sarah Ferguson has been secretly meeting with Prince Harry to encourage him to end things with Meghan once and for all. Let's break this all down point by point. As you may recall, ever since Meg's had transpired over two years ago now, things have been far from rosy between Harry, Meghan, and the royals back in the UK. There's been all sorts of stories about demands, hurt feelings, fallouts, and more. While the couple has tried to keep up appearances of the united front in public, it's said that, behind closed doors, the marriage has been on very shaky ground for some time. Harry is reportedly deeply unhappy and conflicted, living in California away from his family and homeland. Meanwhile, it's said that Meghan has been finding life in Montecito equally difficult and lonely, relying almost entirely on Harry for companionship, with few friends of her own out there. The isolation and pressures of the situation are said to have placed an enormous strain on their relationship. At the same time, Sarah Ferguson has remained extremely close with both Harry and his brother William over the years, despite her own separation from Prince Andrew long ago. She's seen as a trusted confidant and maternal figure to the princes. So, when Harry reached out to Fergie recently, in despair over his current circumstances and marriage, she sprang into action to help in any way she could. According to sources, Sarah has been secretly meeting with Harry on an almost weekly basis, both in the US and the UK, counseling him through his tumultuous emotions and offering sage advice based on her own experiences. Crucially, she is said to have strongly encouraged Harry to seriously reconsider whether remaining with Meghan is truly in his best interest, either personally or for the monarchy as an institution. In her view, the damage Meghan has already inflicted on the royal family through her actions cannot be underestimated or forgiven, and for Harry to be happy and fulfill his lifetime duties, leaving Meghan may sadly be the only option. I'm told Sarah sees Meghan as an ultimately toxic influence over Harry, who has changed him for the worse since their marriage. Word is that during these heartfelt talks, Fergie has gently but firmly brought up all the ways in which Meghan has disrespected the Queen and other senior royals through various missteps and accusations over the years. She's highlighted how Meghan has isolated Harry from his family and driven a huge wedge between the brothers. She's also emphasized how Meghan seems unwilling or unable to conform to the values and standards expected of the royal figure for the public good. In short, Fergie reportedly believes the best thing for Harry's mental health, career prospects, and mending family relationships would be to walk away from Meghan as soon as possible. She is said to be supporting him emotionally and strategically in working towards an amicable, mutual separation that's least damaging for all parties involved. Of course, any decisions would ultimately be Harry's to make alone. From the accounts I'm hearing, Sarah may just be starting to get through to Harry on some level. He's said to be wavering in his resolve like never before and secretly entertaining the prospect of life after Meghan. Word is that Meghan has noticed the change in Harry's demeanor as well in recent weeks and is deeply discomforted, fearing the end may be near. She is panic-stricken according to sources, over the thought of losing her primary leverage and support system in the form of Harry. Oh, while the couple has kept up a united front so far in public, behind closed doors, it's a different story. I'm told Meghan has been lashing out more at Harry in fits of anger and tears, out of her underlying insecurities and anxieties. She's desperately trying to find the source of the rift and pull Harry back into the fog of her manipulations like before, but Sarah's calm. Rational influence may be too formidable an opponent for her to overcome. Things could possibly come to a dramatic head in the weeks or months ahead, depending on how strongly Harry commits to his growing independence.